Hey guys, it's Peggy here with Citrus Templates and I wanted to walk through this uh, real estate uh, CRM uh, in Google Sheets, this buyer and seller pipeline tracker. Um, so once you purchase this sheet, you'll be able to make a copy of um, this uh, template. And uh, the first thing you wanna do is just go through these setup um, instructions. So uh, in order for one of the features to work, you'll need to update this um, spreadsheet ID in your buyer and seller pipeline. So in the seller pipeline, it's right here, spreadsheet ID. Um, and you just wanna copy this um, ID number here. So just copy this and the whole thing after that slash D and then paste it here. So it's gonna be a completely different number than uh, what this is. Um, but you just want to be able to paste that in. And that basically allows you to make this link correct. So this is the seller pipeline. Um, it just takes you to the next available uh, line. Uh, since there's not too many uh, contacts in here right now, it's not that big of an issue because you can just go find the next available line. Uh, but when you have a lot of contacts, you can just click this add new contact here and then it'll take you all the way to the next new line uh, just quickly. Uh, so that's really what that feature does. Um, if you guys have any issues with it, feel free to reach out to me. Um, it's it's one of those that it's kind of a nice to have, but not absolutely necessary um, uh, because you can always just scroll down to, to find the next available um, line to, to put your next contact. Um, there is also a find and highlight um, feature in here. So if you're like, you know, looking for Howard's information and you've got a lot of people, um, you can just type in Howard and it'll automatically highlight uh, where that person is. So just a way to quickly find uh, information once you, uh, you know, start getting a lot of leads in here. Um, so then, uh, so you do the same thing for the buyer pipeline. Again, you just want to uh, copy everything after the slash D um, up at the top on that URL and then just paste it uh, directly in here. And then that will make this new contact um, work right here. So that's, that's how that part works. Um, so that is um, these first two steps. And then, then you can start adding your uh, contacts in. And also, you know, you can add, edit it, and uh, figure out the next contact date. So what you wanna do here is, let's say you're adding a, a contact person, you can add their phone number and email in here, the lead source that, uh, they were, uh, that they were coming from, and then the new lead date. So when was the first time you um, entered this information in? You know, when was the first time you talked with them? Um, and then when, when was the last time you contacted them? So let's say for this one, you met them, you know, December 26th in 2022, then you, um, last contact them a couple of days, um, you know, later on um, January 9th, and you're gonna you're going to follow up with them in uh, in three days. So this is the follow up schedule. So you have a couple options just depending on what their situation is. Uh, you know, do you need to contact them the next day, or do you need to contact them six months out, or maybe you know something you somebody you didn't really connect with and you just like never need to contact them. Um, so this is the the follow up schedule, and then based upon that, then um, the next contact date gets automatically calculated um, and then color coded. So the purpose of this is to make sure that you only focus on the leads that you need to call immediately or within the next seven days. Um, don't focus on you know stuff that you need to do two months down the line, right? It, when, when the time comes, the sheet will tell you when to contact them. So if it is um, you know three days away, um, or let's say if it's, uh, one day is, um, if it's one day away or, uh, if it's the day that you need to contact them, it'll turn yellow. If it's past the day that you need to contact them, then it'll turn red. So some of these people like absolutely need to be contacted. You said you were going to contact them and you haven't. Um, so red is, it's already past the date. Yellow is that's the day you said you would contact them. And then orange is uh, within the next seven days. So let's say if this person, you know, is like a month out, then it just turns white. You don't need to worry about it because, um, you know, seven days before, you know, February 8th, uh, it'll turn orange. So the process is it'll turn orange, then it'll turn yellow on the day that it needs to be done, absolutely needs to be done. And then uh, it'll turn red if you didn't do it, if you didn't update this last contact date to a new contact date. 
So that's how this, um, this next contact date and scheduling works here. Um, and then in, in addition to that, for the buyer pipeline, you can also kind of go through this buyer journey with them. Like, are they pre-approved? You can check that off. Do they sign a buyer's agreement with you? Are they under contract or are they closed? So you can kind of follow that process and kind of see where all of your clients are. Um, in addition to any you know, notes about the neighborhood they're looking for, property type and, and things like that. Uh, same thing for the seller pipeline. It also mirrors that. So you can, you know, um, figure out which, what um, status they're in. Um, are they a uh, new seller? Um, did you already talk with them? Uh, are they, you know, active, pending, closed um, type of seller? Their contact information. Same thing with the lead um, uh, contact follow-up. Uh, what day you need to follow up with them. Then there is the seller journey. So, um, you know, did you already do a CMA with them? Have they signed a listing agreement? Are they under contract or closed? Um, you can also put in their address here, and then there is a link, automatic link to the map of that address. Um, and then just some information about the property, um, any updates and any notes uh, for that property. So that's your, your seller pipeline. Um, so, and then we have the dashboard, which kind of just pulls in all the information from these two sheets. Um, and so the pipeline basically gives you an overview of like what's coming down the line, right? Do you have a lot of new leads uh, or do you have a lot of active leads? Like what's going on um, in your pipeline? So that just gives you a visual of what's in your pipeline, um, you know, how, what the categories are for each of the buyer statuses, and then where the lead source is are for your buyers and your sellers. So like this agent maybe is getting a lot of open house buyers, um, you know, that kind of thing. And then under here is basically a dashboard of your of, of all the people that are coming up in the next seven days. So if they're past the if they're more than seven days away, it's not going to show up here. Uh, but this is basically pulling from these two sheets that, um, you know, these are the people that you really need to contact in the next seven days. So you can kind of just keep top of mind of when when their uh, next contact date is, uh, you know, within the, the upcoming week. Um, you can also um, update these uh, these lists. So the um, the seller status and the buyer status. Um, I have another video that shows you how you can add or change these statuses. Um, uh, the only thing I wouldn't change is this follow up schedule uh, because that is um, pretty much set in terms of the formulas for the next contact date. So I wouldn't change this. Uh, but you can change also up to ten lead sources. So you can add in up to ten lead sources here and change that. And um, you know that uh, will move over to these buyer and seller pipelines. Um, so if you guys have any questions about this um, real estate CRM, you know, pipeline tracker, uh, feel free to let me know. Thanks.